Very strong off the floor, up and over, unfortunately. I think she's uh, capable of making that without problem. Just needs to come back and put it all together. And that's that little bit of extra excitement on the first lift. You probably over it a little bit. Yep. You're the first one on the stage. So she's got the energy, she's got the strength. She just needs to just needs to be a little bit more delicate. And that's and that's the trick with the snatch. Delic yeah. Delicacy. So it looks like she will follow herself that same weight, and uh, I'm a fan of this. Yeah, just for her to stick, stick with the same weight, let's not move up too uh, prematurely. No, to buy more time, she'd have to go to uh, 83 kilos, and that's a big jump from 80 to 83. It's uh, 83 is also her best her personal national. best. So stick with that weight. Give yourself 30 seconds to regroup and come back out and make that. Again, I don't think it's a strength issue, just opening attempt, first lifter jitters or nerves or something so let's see her come back and make that in the meantime Supatra Kai Wong is on deck for the increase to 83 kilos so it looks like she's uh, she's not going to use her all the time and, and again in the snatch typically you don't need that full two minutes well some of us do but <laughs> um, especially these women of, of, of somewhat light body weight they can they can really go after a weight pretty quickly after they miss she looks recovered she's ready let's see her come on and make this put this overhead I think she's gonna make it only three kilos below her personal best Much better. Beautiful. Yeah, really nice. That was exactly how you want an opening lift to look, Dr. Westbrook. Even though it wasn't an opening lift, yes. It was not, it. but you know, <laughs> I, you want a second to lift uh, to look like that as well. So, Absolutely. really nice job, way to come back. And look at that, really yeah. solid catch. Gets herself on the board. And it came into the hip so nicely. Really beautifully done. So it, that should bring up Supatra Kai Hong. Let's see. We've got a lot of cheering, which typically means that we could have a lifter from the USA coming out. Caitlin is on deck right now, but there's a possibility she will be the lifter. Supatra is currently on the clock. And Dr. Bob, I just I just looked behind me. We have a packed house. Oh, Flags are waving. People are screaming. This is amazing. And the Thai fans. So there's American fans and fans from uh, Thailand really cheering. Oh, absolutely. Here we have uh, Supatra Kai Kwong coming out. Opening and attempt, 83 kilos. And this is uh, about five kilos below her best. She did 88. Uh, back earlier in 2016. Took a shot at 92 at that composition. Competition. Wow, really strong. Loops nicely around the bar. There Very is nice. the cheering section, yeah, cheering her on. <laughs> the, it's hard to find more enthusiastic fans. Really great to see them out here. It's hypnotizing, literally hypnotizing. I believe they were in Rio. Yeah. I believe I remember seeing that guy specifically. Here's that opening snatch by her. And look at that, really nicely done. But I got to say the crowd right Listen now. Listen to the crowd. Caitlin Hogan wild. is coming out, coached by Sean Waxman, who's, uh, who's done a really great job with, with his athletes as of recent. And of course, Piros Dimas. Looking on as well, here is Caitlin Hogan, her World Championships debut. 83 kilos, only a single kilo less than her best ever. In competition. In competition, yes. Good. Great That's a to great see that. lift. Great to see a lifter come out, take that opening confidently. 
That's great. And no no better person to have put a jacket over your back than Piro's Dimas <laughs> after you make a lift like that. And then that replay, you see she gets under that bar oh, very, yeah. very quickly. Very intense. There's the crowd, everyone getting excited for her. This is, this is going to be a great competition. Right now, Kanayagi of Japan coming out. 83 kilos, opening attempt here. And, uh, and again, her best uh, uh, in international competition is 86, so just a few kilos under that mark. And the Japanese has, have a wonderful, wonderful tradition of great solid technique. And that was demonstrated right on there. display right there, Dr. Yeah. Westbrook. Beautiful opening attempt by Yagi right there. Three white lights, absolutely no problem. This brings up, well, Caitlin Hogan, technically the lifter. Not going to be her, though. She's no. a little more of an increase, I imagine. Yeah, she's going to move up. There's no doubt about that. So she, yeah, look how happy she looks there. What a great way to open the uh, competition for her. Yeah. So now we've got some momentum on the platform. That's, that's what I like to see. Missing that opening snatch of the competitions always leaves the crowd a little, um, a little disappointed. But now we've got a really nice flow. Right now, Hyun Diaz of the Philippines is the athlete. She is calling for 85 kilos. She has a pretty extensive competition history, and her best snatch is 102 kilos. So big lift. I mean, you're talking about a lifting three, a class up, though. Yeah, as lifting a, a class up. That's right. You're talking about a three-time Olympian. So she's a person, or she's a, a lifter, competitor who knows how to bring it on the big stage. a little out of place she's done 90 kilos recently so at the asian indoor and martial arts games this year in september she did 85 and then 90 and took a crack at 93 so she's capable of the weight yeah it was just really a positional thing she pulls it high enough just and a little out of place a little in front right so this brings up jin hee yoon for her opening attempt out of korea at 85 kilos Again, we're, we're reaching weights well, well above these, these women's body weights. So these are uh, serious weights these women are moving around. Most recent international competition in the Olympic Games last year where she snatched 88. look a little heavy, I'll be honest. Up and over. She'll have two more attempts. And it looks like there's, uh, there's a number of athletes that are asking for the same yeah. weight. Um, two others who are at their opening attempt, so she'll have some time. Which yeah. is What's nice, it's keeping the competition moving. Yeah. Keeping everything moving along. Haven't had a two-minute clock yet. Although we are seeing some changes, and I think the... Brazilian coach might have just put a change in. Yeah, Santos yep. is moving up. You're right. That means Christina Shimatova of Turkmenistan, where the Worlds will be held next year. Is that right? That is correct. Yes. It's coming out unless... Nope, that's Poland making a change. There is some frantic activity around that. Absolutely. Marshall table. Every single kilo counts here. You're talking, everybody's within five yeah. kilos right now. So yep. um, Christina Shimatova moving up. Joanna Lachowska moving up. And it comes back to Caitlin Hogan. This is really like a game wow. of tennis. Back and forth between these athletes and the coaches. And if, that, if this actually comes all the way back to Yoon, that means that she doesn't get that full two minutes. Well, at this point, she's <laughs> well, yeah, several she's minutes. She's gained another minute, too, yeah. So so right now, Kate, no, Caitlin's moving up, too. So it does come back to, well, now it comes back to Kanai Yagi. Yagi, yep. Unless she elects to move up. And I would be surprised <laughs> if she wants to go 86 next. So there's, there's a lot of heat back there in the warm-up room, no doubt about that. No, Japan is coming out. Okay. 
and she's uh, she's on the hop, as they say. So uh, things timing-wise, some of these this jockeying has definitely thrown the tempo off. Wow. Okay, so we are he hearing that uh, Yagi just did a lift in the warm-up room, just did a power snatch, dropped the bar, and ran out to take this. That's what happens with this jockeying sometimes. Wow. So right now, here she is. Second attempt, 85. Opener looked great. Great Asics shoes, too. Beautiful. Oh, no. Look how close her bottom Very, was to the yeah. ground. Too. I mean, that's it doesn't get any lower than that. And, and you know, that, that emphasizes the idea of training at a high level and sometimes throwing in some odd things, like a, a power snatch, then quickly jump to yeah. a, a high level lift. She to train for these that. moments. Yeah, she almost had that. I mean, really, you don't get much closer. No, so close. But uh, but but that's to the advantage of her uh, her competitors. They they played it correctly. The coaches did it, did a good job. That's going to bring out Yoon Jin Hee of Korea for her second attempt. She was not successful at her opener with 85. Threw it over. Let's just see if she can make the correction. Again, she's done more. Her best snatch is 95 wow. as a 58. Wow. Best snatch as a 53 looks to be 88 kilos. Excuse me, 93. And it looks like Yoon did that back in 2005, 12 years ago. Yeah. It looks heavy to me. It really does. It's a little does. heavy. Left that one out front. So we got one that went behind, one that went out front. Now she's got to make the correction and get that bar overhead. She will not be following herself, luckily. There are a few other athletes, but there's the same thing happening. We're seeing some, sh some changes. Shifting around, yeah. Yeah, and that's going to be common, I think, throughout this entire competition. Comes back to Japan's Kanai Yagi. You know, looking how much jockeying there is, it, it's it's just amazing to me that the uh, the one kilo rule is so, sort of a new rule, and and how the heck did things work out when it was two and a half kilos that these these women had for jumps they had to make? Yeah. So Yagi coming out uh, for the same weight, 85 kilos here. Apparently, there are so many changes that they have had to replace the carpet in front of the Marshall's table already. <laughs> is what I'm hearing from the back room. Well, the software went down for a few minutes, too. I mean, it's just unbelievable. They realize every kilo counts. Here is Yagi, third attempt. That's it. What a lift. God bless her. Like you said, uh, these Japanese athletes really technically proficient, about as good as you can get, and she showed it with that lift. Beautiful execution on that. We can see the replay right here. And look at that. So solid. Throws herself off balance yeah. a little bit in the bottom, but steadies and stands up. Excellent. Way to come back. Very nicely done. Yagi gives her 85 kilos on the board going into the clean and jerk. So now we've got a do or die situation for Yoon. Uh, she's missed two lifts. She's on her third attempt. She looks like she's probably going to take this weight, which I would highly recommend that she yeah. does. Uh, in the snatch, you don't need more time than a couple minutes, and she's Number got four, that. Now the clock's nine. getting close to 30 seconds, yes. and she's still got that towel over her, so I think... Does she realize? She... No, the lifter's changing. Okay. okay. Yeah. So she's going to go up. She's taking a four-kilo increase, I'm seeing. Wow. So that's, that's going to buy her about a half an hour. <laughs> there are a lot of athletes in between 85, excuse me, 86 where we are now, and 89. Right now, Vietnam's Thi Mai Dung Tran coming out for her opening attempt, 86 kilos. And this is only one kilo less than her personal international best. So uh, this is a pretty heavy weight to start with, but training must be going well. She's just one year out of being a junior, born in 1996. This is her first year as a senior athlete. Oh, 
whole thing was out in front. Yeah, left it a little out front, unfortunately. Didn't look heavy. I think she just needs to come back, make a little correction there, get yeah. that, get that a little bit behind the head. So she's gonna, probably going to be waiting for a while. Also, at, at least one attempt, if she decides to move up, she'll be waiting a heck of a lot more. Yeah. Uh, but Joanna Lakowska, uh, representing Poland, should be the next lifter. Christina Shematova oh, of right. Turkmenistan. Turkmenistan, yep. Although there are more changes. <laughs> OK, yeah. Nope. So it is Joanna. Yeah. Lakowska okay. is changing as well. Wow. Nobody is taking. I don't. I don't even remember what they were <laughs> starting with. Were at this at, point. At this point, it doesn't matter. It was meaningless. So it might go back to Hogan. Yeah, it may. Who has been sitting for it? What's interesting is there's been a lot of movement, but some athletes. It's been a while since they've done anything. Yeah. And, and what I liked that you saw. You saw Caitlin sitting there, towel. She's staying warm. Her yeah. eyes are closed. She's conserving her energy and getting ready to to perform when she needs to. Got to say, the coaches are getting quite a workout back there. They are a lot of running around. Hope they're wearing skin. a pedometer because they're getting their steps in today. <laughs> that Fitbit is getting worked, no doubt about that. Thailand, Supatra, Kai Kwong coming out. Second attempt, 86 kilos. So 86, three kilos above her opener. That was felt like it was about an hour ago. So um, hopefully she's been doing some warm-ups in the back between then and now. Oh, ah, no, a little bit out front. She too, this is her first year as a senior athlete, born in 96, was a junior up until last year. Junior up to 20 years old per IWF rules, or the year in which you turn 20. She'll have one more attempt to try to improve on that. But in the meantime, hometown favorite, Caitlin Hogan coming out. Here we go. So she's one for one thus far. Really looked great on that opening attempt to A3. Three kilo increase to 86. This would be a personal best in international competition. Um, this is a big lift for her, yeah. really big lift. And, and I tell you what, she's got the crowd behind her. She, really oh, she got does. the crowd behind her. She had Coach Sean Waxman slap their shoulders behind her, which is enough to get almost anyone to snatch 86. <laughs> Let's see her put this overhead. Had a great opening attempt. It's bringing a lot of intensity to this. Tell you what, that looked very powerful. It's a great pull, great pull, lots of power in that. I think it was a little forward, yeah, and yeah. actually overcorrected and threw it behind her. Boy, watch, watch how high she pulls this. I mean, yeah, tremendous amount of power there. Uh, she's disappointed with that because she knows that she has more than enough strength to complete that. Needs to needs to focus, come back, and get on the board with that 86 because that. It's going to be a big lift. So Heidi Diaz from the Philippines coming out for her second attempt. She decided to move up that single kilo to buy herself some more time after missing 85 on her opener. Again, a three-time Olympian, so she knows how to bring it. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> Look at done. Talk about a nice overhead position. There. Yeah. Really That's nice lockout. Crowd here is also pretty excited about her. She'll have one more attempt. Really nice. Watch her just sit here. The patience yeah. there, the balance, and the finish. Next lifter is going to be P. Tron of Vietnam, although their coach is at the table making a change. So it's unclear. The lift is going to go back to Kaylin Hogan. As if she's going to lift. No, it's Kaylin Hogan. They moved up to 87. Wow. Okay. So this is going to bring out Kaylin Hogan. Be interesting to see. So, so that it looks like oh, yeah, Hogan's she's going up. 87 also, which will bring up um, Joanna Lakowska of Poland, who we have not yet seen. 
and uh, I think she'll actually be, com be coming out for this. Yeah, she's coming out. And Joanna's done as much as 94 kilos. Um, that was back in Houston here in the States at the World Championships in 2015. European Championships this year, she did 86 kilos. So here she is opening a kilo over that. I believe that was her last international competition. Nice, yeah, really nice job. balance on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Patient, so, gets it overhead. Very good, solid opening attempt. Absolutely. And there's still four more competitors that we have yet to see for their opening attempts. So a lot of a lot of snatching yet to come. You have those shoes? I don't think I've seen those shoes before. I think those are the Reeboks. Oh, they are. Okay. I'm not sure. Yeah. Let's take another look at them. But uh, so good. T. Mai Dong Tran out of nice. Vietnam coming out for her second attempt, moving up that one kilo, just to buy herself a little bit more time. You know, here I think it's actually not a bad move because every single kilo is going to make a difference. Yeah. Right. Oh boy, she tried to duck walk with it, but boy, that's a that's a large feat. It's still just a little bit out front, just a little bit. Yeah. And, and when you said every kilo counts, you know, I have a feeling this is going to be one of those competitions where the top three places are all going to be, you know, whatever it is, 180, 179, 178. It's going to be close. one, two, three. It's going to be very, very close. Leticia right Arindo Mores coming out for her third and final attempt with a huge, huge seven, seven kilo, kilo increase. increase. Now, this is gutsy, to say the least. Her best in international competition is 83. I have to imagine she's been taking weights in the back. Because it's been, she opened the session for us. Oh, wow. That left elbow, no, just a little bit of a, give there. That's a shame because she did it, and it was a great uh, lift, but no three lift. red lights. There was that bend, a little bit of a bend and rebend in the left elbow, but man. You know, her elbow wasn't straight, but with those braces she has, her teeth will be straight. I am impressed with that. I really, a seven kilo increase. That is, that's a huge increase percentage-wise. I mean, you're talking just, just under 10%. <laughs> Going from your second to third attempt. Unbelievable. Right now, Thailand's Kai Guang Supatra. Coming out for her third attempt, 87. She missed 86, elected to go up one kilo. In some lifters elect to wear that belt in the snatch, and as you can see, it works well for her. Oh yeah, really nice and upright with that catch. Excellently done. Clearly moving up that one kilo was the right move. Now, the crowd goes wild for America's own Caitlin Hogan. Coming out for a third and final attempt, decided to jump up that one kilo to 87 kilos. And I tell you what, I think she's very capable. Mm -hmm. Demos looking on in the background, we can see. Coach Waxman looking on as well. Let's go fight! Ah! She has the look of determination. Yeah, brings a lot of intensity to the platform. Oh, oh, no. 
Well, she's credited with her opener at 83 kilos. Uh, very, two very, very close misses, but unfortunately a miss is a miss. Yeah. So 83 kilos is her best of the three. Tremendously strong, but... And that, that actually would have been a competition PR had she uh, been successful with it. Yeah. You can see Dimas Waxman. <laughs> right now, Rosane dos Reis Santos of Brazil coming out for 88 kilos. Wow, she looks lean. She looks uh, a, a little taller than a lot of the other competitors here. The Olympic Games in Rio last year, as a 53, she snatched 86. She has snatched up to 90 in the past at the Olympic trials, or test event, I should say, in Brazil last year as well. So this is working near some of her best weight. out front very long limbed is a little bit taller maybe yes yeah, some, some, some will say that those long limbs can be advantageous in the snatch but can almost be a little bit of a hindrance in the clean and jerk that's what i blame it on in my case <laughs> looked good. one of the things you blame it on <laughs> <laughs> looks strong enough for that just needs to make a little correction i think and come back in the meantime we've still got three athletes we have not seen yet, one of whom is Christina Shematova coming out right now lifting for Turkmenistan. Turkmenistan, and her best in international international competition is 89 kilos, so just a single kilo. Yeah, she's right Blow there. So at this point, every lift is extensively important. Yeah, these, any of these could and will be a medal winning lift. Yep. Looks good. Yeah. A little, a little unbalanced on the catch there, but uh, not enough. Uh, she, you can see her holding her elbow. It looks like she just had that moment where it was kind of drifting backwards, but she had the strength to kind of pull it back. You yeah. see that here. A little bit of a swing right there. That left elbow just a little kind of back and forth. But gets it overhead, gets on the board with a nice solid 88 kilos. Rosane Dos Reis Santos coming out for her second crack at this weight. Did not quite get it overhead on her opening attempt. Let's see if she can make the correction here on her second. And she's done as much as 90 kilos fairly recently in, in uh, Brazil. The Olympics. Same oh, thing. Boy. Same thing, a little bit out front, just leaving it out there. No, yeah, she's strong and it's moving off yeah. the floor quite well. Yeah. She'll have one more attempt at it, but you know, it just doesn't look like it's in her mind. She doesn't have that pure commitment that you need in the snatch. Well, now that she's in that do it that situation, maybe, maybe it'll be there. Yeah, let's hope so. She's following herself at this point, unless she asks for a different weight. You know, Uncle JP made mention of that, that certain swagger, that confidence that's hard to articulate. That's what's missing. And, and she needs to find that, that energy within and yeah. bring it in, in on this last attempt. Now she is going up. She is wow. likely to move up not one but two kilos to 90 to equal her international competition that's, best. That's right. Bringing Joanna Wyszowska of Poland out for her second attempt. A very conservative two kilo increase. Smart. Made 87 on her opener. Smart move, I think. And she's been in the sport for a long time. Um, and she's done as much as 94. So this is just about making your lifts. You don't need to hit personal best. Just make the lift. At this point, this could be a medal winning snatch. Oh, boy. She moves smoothly, but uh, a little bit of jump rope yeah. in there. She'll have one more chance to improve on her snatch results. In the meantime, Korea's 
Hyun Jin Hee, who we have not seen in ages and who is in the unfortunate position of needing to make a lift to stay in the competition. Now, if you elect to clean and jerk, you don't need to have a snatch, but to be considered for the total placement, you need one snatch and one clean and jerk at least. She needs this to be considered for overall placement. And uh, a four kilo jump after missing 85 twice is a, is a gutsy move because neither of those lifts looked very confident. And uh, tell you what, it just looked heavy on those first two attempts. So to go even heavier is a, is a little bit of a risk. Hopefully made the correction. I, my money was not on making that lift. Um, yeah. So unfortunately, she is uh, not able to make a total or a snatch. Like like you were mentioning before, she can still compete in the clean and jerk for a medal. Uh, but that, that's it at this point. So we still have two lifters yet to be seen. Um, but right now, before that, Tai Mai Dong Chan of Vietnam is being called out for her final attempt at 89. And again, another do or die situation. And here. has gone up every single attempt. Missed 86, went up to 87, missed it, and now at 89. That's what we call it, DJ Shuttleworth. <laughs> She was really patient, and I, I no. all the way through the hip, I thought it was going to be successful because of how patient she was, but yeah. still, there's something happening overhead that just wasn't locking into place. You know, I wonder if some of these athletes, because they realize how tight it is, are going a little more aggressively. Yeah, yeah. I mean, really, any lift in this competition could be a medal, especially at this, once we got past the 85, 86 range. Yep. Uh, so unfortunately, she does not end up with a snatch either. Right now, Joanna Lachowska, third and final attempt, 89 kilos. So if successful, this will put her in second place, which she currently holds. Again, there's two lifters we have yet to see and a lot more other lifts to be seen, but this is an important lift. So one one for three there, uh, you know, really a lot of misses in this session, and it is an A session. And I understand these women are going for big lifts, but you gotta make them. It's, that's the bottom line. You have to make your lifts. Yeah, just left it out front. Wasn't quite there. Yeah. Now we have Su Su Ching coming out, And, uh, you know, I remember seeing her at the 2015 uh, World Championships in Houston in the warm-up area and just being blown away um, by her speed, yeah. by her abilities. Um, so just just watch. This is, she's impressive. Wow. Just uh, so aggressive under the bar. That's a nice success. Best snatch is 101. Wow. Done back in 2014, or at least best international snatch. Pretty consistently, Ben, a 53 lifter. Last international competition, the Olympic Games in Rio, where she snatched 90, excuse me, 100 kilos, and uh, was good for that plus her gold medalist. Yeah. You know, the one thing that we sometimes forget is just how much traveling is involved for some of these women. Or all, for all these competitors, really, including for us commentators. <laughs> There's jet lag and getting used to different changes in elevation. Uh, Airport food. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Really. It's, uh, it's not the glorious uh, jet setting life you might imagine. <laughs> no, it's a life on the road. It's interesting is how some countries approach travel compared to others. So some will arrive maybe a week in advance and acclimate themselves. Others, the Russians famously would arrive like a day before. Day before, yeah, yeah. And, and basically, I, I would you know, just stay on their time zone, I imagine. Right. Yeah, the yeah. Russians, yeah. and they wouldn't even come as a team. It would be one at a time, yeah. uh, depending on when you're lifting. So he he Heidi Diaz from the Philippines coming out for 90 kilos on her third and final attempt. This. 
Looked a little heavy. Looked a little it heavy was. off the floor. Four kilos is a big increase off 86. You know, a little over about 5% or so, 6%. Right now, the athlete becomes Rosane Dos Reis Santos. And unfortunately, she is also in a do or die situation. Yeah. She needs a snatch to stay eligible for the total. Dos Reis Santos has done 90 kilos in international competition. But only once before at the Olympic test. So she really needs to bring it here. Use the energy of the room to make this lift. So, 0 for 3 on, in the snatch here, unfortunately. Now, this is interesting because it's unfortunate, but it's changing the landscape of an already tight competition. Yeah. It really leaves things wide open in the total. You had three athletes who are potentially in the running out of the competition now for the overall placement. Yeah, and it actually surprises me that Supita Atanasan it, it has moved up to 91. I figured just get 90 in first to make sure you're on the board, but uh, she must be feeling pretty confident. So her best is, snatch is 95. 95, yeah. At the Worlds in Houston. So maybe she feels confident. She knows, uh, hey, had great results in the U.S. in the past. Give it another whirl. At the Olympic Games last year in Rio, she managed 92. So... This is a this is this is a big weight. Yeah, um, I, I would I would I would be I'd say that this is going to be worth a medal if she can make it. Now, what color that? Oh, at this point, is. yeah, this will definitely be a medal. Yeah. Okay, so, so she no, is ready. No reason to go to 90 kilos. I, I, now I understand why she moved up to 91. She is ready. That uh, that was maybe a power snatch. That, she caught that pretty high. Really looked great, I gotta say. Let's watch this side angle. Oh, uh, that's about parallel. That, about that's parallel. That's the best snatch we've seen all session. Yeah. I mean, that is incredible movement, the strength. She's happy about that. So uh, always hard to come out after a lift when you see somebody just <laughs> destroy a weight like that. Yeah. <laughs> but Christina Shermatova of Turkmenistan does come out for the same weight at 91 kilos. And again, per the new rules, since Sopita did it first, she would still remain in first place even if Christina does make this. This would put her in second place overall in this match for the time being. Well, she'll Didn't have a, a convincing. Attempt. No, she'll have one more crack at it. She remains the lifter unless she's willing to make a pretty serious jump. The yes. next closest athlete is Hu Su Su Ching at 93. 93, yeah. And so Pita is asking for 95, so. And I, I, I really don't think she, she's going to, uh, she's, you know, she's going to be, so Pita's just so, so strong today. So I think they're really competing for the, for the silver medal more so than anything else at this point. Yeah. And right now she's guaranteed a bronze. Guaranteed a bronze medal in the snatch. Yeah. And if she makes this 91, it puts her ahead of Su Su Ching, but probably not for long. Yeah. I think it's a wise move to stay here at 91, though. Yeah. You don't gain anything really by, by going even further when that one looked already a little bit dicey. Boy, that blanket looks very comfortable. <laughs> it does. Very warm, too. Yes. You know, for these lighter athletes, that's really the key, is keeping the body weight, uh, keeping the body warm. Yeah, it's funny because when you see the other end of the spectrum, the heavy heavyweights, 
they're doing everything they can to keep them cool. It's like a, a nuclear core or something. <laughs> you're you're Get fans pouring in seawater, hoping towels that, that you're waving out. back and forth. Yeah, yeah very it's different. Very it's different. different. It's trying to cool. trying to keep the whole building cool when the supers are back there. <laughs> Yeah, we start sweating when we're compensating for the Supers. <laughs> right now, Shermatova coming out, third attempt, 91 kilos. It's a really important lift. Uh, this, this potentially could change that bronze medal in the snatch to a silver. But again, we have a couple athletes, so this would put her ahead of Su Su Ching, but I think Su, Hu Su Ching still has more in her. Yeah, I think so too. Such a significantly better lift at her second attempt. That was better than her first attempt. Yeah. That looked fantastic. So, I got to say, Dr. Westbrook, I didn't think I was going to add. No. The way that second attempt looked. I was I was ready to put, you know, 5 or $10 on, on her missing that. <laughs> Thank God I didn't. I was about to leave. I figured this is done. <laughs> nope. She comes back. And what a really, lift. It's great. I mean, this is why. It's why you have the competition. Yeah. Despite yeah. what you think you know and you think you've seen. You get surprises like that. Well right. done. Right so now. interestingly, Sue is deciding to go to 93, even though she'd really only need 92 to put her into first place. Wow. Oh, beautiful. Love okay, it. you can hear the contact with the body. It, it's, a, nice it's a big smack. Pop. Yeah. But doesn't hit it out. Still straight pull up, but very aggressive. And as she gets under the bar, it's equally as aggressive, yeah. too. I mean, just watch how it comes into the hip hard. She drops under hard, and another successful lift. Beautiful. And again, so she has one more lift. So Pita Tanisan has two more lifts yeah. in Thailand. Um, I've still got my money on Tanisan. And I think she's making the wise move at going to 94 and sticking with this just to move one kilo ahead of Sue. Sue, of course, is asking for 96, which that, you know, she could drop down to 95 just to go kind of back and forth one kilo at a time. Yep. This is big, though. We've got a nice competition going on here. Oh, this is wonderful. Who wants the gold more? Who's prepared more efficiently for this moment? Wow. <laughs> is that nice lifting or what? <laughs> Here's the thing. I mean, Sue is now at 96. And as a coach, I mean, you got to balance. What do I think my athlete can do? Yeah. What do I think this other athlete can do? Because Tanasan, look at that. Beautiful. I mean, she looks good for another three kilos. In her, per her personal best is 95 in international competition. Wow. So she is in shape for, for a PR today. So we've got both lifters asking for 95. Sue has come down from 96 down to 95, which I think is a smart move. I think so, yeah. Because no matter what Tanasan does, this keeps you that much closer going into the clean. Right, and if she does it first, it yeah. forces Tanasan to go up to 96 at exactly. least. And Sue in the clean and jerk, much stronger. Wow, needs to hold. Oh. You know, every lift was a little bit, yeah, off chasing like that, just a chasing little, yeah. a little bit, and that one was just too much, unfortunately. But she's, I mean, listen, got that 93 on the board. Her opening clean and jerk is listed at 120. Tanasan's is listed at 111. Yeah. So yeah. she, she is hanging with her. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so just a tiny, tiny hyperextension of that left elbow there. So hopefully it's nothing nothing serious and she'll be yeah. able to clean and jerk as she normally does. So Tanisan is coming out for 96. This is our snatch gold medalist. Snatch gold medalist. Um, she's basically trying to set herself up because she's not as strong of a clean and jerker. Yeah. So every kilo that she can gain in the snatch is going to be significant when it comes to the total. And this is one kilo above her international best. So this is not only a personal best, but just going to extend her lead just a little farther. I've got my money on making this lift. I got to say, the first two looked so good. What? I think she's ready. Yeah.
<laughs> Seems good to more. <laughs> I gotta say, one, two, three. That's how you smash. Unbelievable. Absolutely fantastic lifting <laughs> by Tana San. And that, that's that's 43 kilos above her own body weight. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's a great lift for anyone, and she does it with ease as a 53 kilo athlete. Really, really nicely done. Wow, I, I'm really impressed. I mean, from the opening attempt, we both looked at each other and said, "That's how you snatch," yeah. and she deservingly gets the gold medal in this fashion. Tanasan gold in the snatch, first place, sitting in second place. Chinese Taipei is Su, Su, Su Ching, and third place is Christina Shemitova of Turkmenistan. It's going to be an exciting clean and jerk portion in just under 10 minutes, Dr. Westbrook. Yeah, so so America's own Caitlin Hogan ended up finishing in eighth place with that 83 kilogram snatch. Um, you know, one thing that I find interesting about this. Um, with the B session snatch, best snatch of being 83, Caitlin actually still gets um, a higher placement, and I believe that's because she's in the A. And as as we can see here, the results of the 53 kilogram 